Alright, hey guys, I'm the Mac Helper. This is a video showing you guys how you can connect where did I put it. Right here, uh, devices like a TP-Link is the smart outlet um, to Apple HomeKit. So I can't show you now because I unplugged it, but I've done this earlier. I did this in the past and it was such a more difficult process. Now you just, well, what you need for this, I have it all spread out like everywhere. Um, you need, of course, the device that you're connecting. Sorry if I'm looking over there. I have a screen with myself on it um, to see if I'm in frame or in focus, which I am. Um, a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi. This is my case Raspberry Pi. Uh, there's a rubber band on it because uh, the, the plastic cover keeps falling off. And I want to protect it. And then you need a micro SD card with four gigabytes or more. Um, a minimum of four gigabytes this is a four gigabyte micro SD card and then I have my I'm doing this on I can't really tilt the camera uh, I'll just lift it up I'm using my new MacBook uh, check out the review not there um, there um, and yeah so uh, it only is USB-C, doesn't have an SD card slot. I found this. This is a micro SD adapter to USB, and then I bought these little USB-C to A. That's USB, like, 3 and USB-C. So I'll be using this. You can also use, like, a, an SD card adapter with, uh, like, one of, one of these thingies. Like, if you have an older MacBook, like an Air or a Pro, uh, like my, my old one, which is right here, uh, 2015. I'm gonna put that back and let's get to it. So I've, as I said, I already set this up so I kind of know what I'm doing. I set this up a few days ago. Um, so yeah, so plug this in. This thing's all wonky, so this doesn't work. I think I have another one in this tub that's right below me. Um, yeah, so let's get to it. So I am on my computer now. So what you first do, well, I'll uh, I'll put all the links d down in the description. Um, so just type in Homebridge, uh, not that. Th that will come in later. If you go to that, nothing will appear. So you go to homebridge.io. As I said, I'll leave everything down in the description. So right here, you just go to their uh, GitHub, which has like step-by-step -step instructions for everything. Uh, you scroll down and uh, it should be blue for me. I think I went too far. Um, installation. So here you can install it on like many things like uh, Linux, Mac OS, Windows 10. But why would you install it on your personal computer when you can install it on your mini computer? Um, so Raspbian. Uh, it's like a. It used to be you do a lot of coding. Uh, not coding, but typing codes in the terminal to enable certain things and install certain files from this GitHub. But now they made a essentially an operating system using this. Uh, so let's go to uh, Homebridge. Also provides a Raspberry Pi image. You download this. I'll try and get a direct download link to this file. Uh, click this. Uh, download the latest version. Uh, Download zip. Oh, this is diff it's different from what I did earlier. I think I got a uh, it was like an image, but that works too. And then you also download Etcher. I'll put a direct link to the uh, Belena Etcher website. Uh, th as I, I I'm doing this on Mac, this will work on PC. You just click the arrow and you can choose which Windows version you have uh, in Linux as well. But I'm going to do Mac. And I already had that downloaded. I don't know why I'm doing that again. Um, and that, I think, is about it for downloading of things. Uh, now let's press X. I already have all this stuff, so I'll just show you what. So you, you do the install. Wait, hold on, hold on. My, my card reader isn't working. I was stating that earlier, that this thing's all wonky. It's like some cheapo, cheapo thing I got. What you do, so, I, I, on my Mac, I guess one of the ports is primary for charging, and one is for data transfer, and that kind of stuff, and I, I have my mic plugged in, but it's not, like, being shown, so I'm just going to completely unplug it. Cool. Um, so, here, it's called boot, 
uh, press X, and then you go to Etcher, the, the app, Belena Etcher. Um, as I said, I'll put everything down below. Uh, and then so flash from file, you click that, and then go to your downloads, and find it would be Raspbian and Homebridge. So I have two. There, there'll be .IMGs if you're on Mac. I'm not sure what they would be on Windows. So you click that, open, and then the, your you ch can change the device. So if you have multiple devices plugged in, if you're like a big big setup type of person, you have multiple flash drives. Just remember to choose your micro SD card, generic storage media. Uh, I guess I don't know. I don't know if that's what they're all called. Um, I don't even know if mine's a SanDisk, or is, I think it is just a generic one that came with. Anyway, um, so click continue, and then wait, and then click flash, and then I have to type in my password. Uh, and then this will take a while, so I'll get back when it's done, or I'll time lapse do it. I'll get back when I'm done. So I'm back. Uh, it's all done. I took this out, plugged this in. Real quick, I'm going to plug this in. There's an outlet in that direction uh, that is open in this basement. So I'm going to plug my Raspberry Pi, put the card into the slot, to the little port on the side, and yeah, I'll be. Uh, I'll be. All right. So just give it. Uh, it says online, give it like two minutes, and then check your Wi-Fi, and you'll see a. Uh, something that's called uh, I think it just says Homebridge uh, and then you connect to it it redirects you to the internet to choose which Wi-Fi it should connect to this is so much easier than what I was talking about the one that was available a year ago I couldn't get this to work like six months ago um, but it's working now which is awesome the uh, what was it yeah it was all like coding you had to plug it into a uh, monitor in order to access the terminal. You could SS, S, what was it, uh, like S, SSH into it and all that stuff, but it just hurt my head and I, w I always wanted to be on the computer itself as I was doing everything. But this, you don't need to like go on that. I haven't gone on it when I did this last week. So, yeah, so let's check my Wi Fi. Um, I'll blur out the two Wi Fi's that I have. Uh, and it's uh, well. Actually, it said, uh, "I'll turn on. I'll start recording on my phone." It says online to go on your phone's Wi-Fi. Um, so that is what I will be doing. Uh, go here, and then uh, yeah. I guess just wait. I don't. Know, I don't know why I'm like rushing this. Let's put this aside. So this is going to be, I guess, a little different than when you guys are going to do it because I did this, as I said, I did this like last year or two years ago. I think it was two years ago. I set this up with this TP-Link smart outlet and it, um, I guess that, I guess it was, I, I think, I don't know, I can't figure out what I'm trying to say. I think it knew that the TP-Link was connected to my network because I didn't have to sign in or anything. Ah, here it is. So it's under my networks actually, Homebridge Wi-Fi Setup. So you tap it. Uh, wait for it to connect. And then you connect, like, that's my Wi-Fi. It's blacked out, black box. And then the password I'm also going to black out. Okay, so I just clicked the green button. I honestly didn't read it. I think it said authorize or continue. Um, and it's applying changes. Give this a second, um, and then it shall. Uh, what was it? which Wi-Fi? Oh yes. So what you do here is, um, so I will connect to this Wi-Fi, which is the Wi-Fi that I linked the Homebridge to. This might also take a couple seconds. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, and this is what I was talking about when I first started. How you go to Homebridge dot local and from here this might like not work a second it might take a couple minutes oh and cool it gets in so 
your password, username and password are both admin, A-D-M-I-N, and then A-D-M-I-N. Log in, or just press enter, or I guess enter doesn't work. And then here we go. So now I have access to my home bridge. So if I go to the home app, I think it might just already be, so it will not be. Okay, I had to delete, this is this, so I need to go, and I'm just going to, um, bridge oh remove cool um i didn't know i could do that awesome oh wait okay so all these smart stuff these are up in my bedroom um so let's see is it here it is not awesome so let me go in here so what you do this is so much better than like the last one you had to like create like a json file and copy and paste stuff from a github um but now you just go to plugins um, oh, I have to update. Okay. Hold on while I just update this. This might be a requirement for everything. I'm going to have to move this up a little, I guess, so you can... Yeah, I guess I'll just do that. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, I'll do this for the time being. So, what you do here... Uh, I, th I, I don't know what you would do here, because this isn't how I set it up when I set it up, like, two years ago. But I think this is where you would log into your TP-Link account, or if you're on an iPhone, it's the, the Casa app. I think give it a second, and I can go in here and just turn. This is through the app. This isn't home. Well, I, what am I doing? I'm screen recording. Um, this is the T Casa app. But now, if I go to... So, in order to connect this whole thing, it's not going to just appear because it's on your network. So, first you click Save. Oh, my microphone thing just fell off. I'll hold, I'll hold the microphone. I'll hold the microphone. Um, and my phone just fell off. Okay. <laughs> this is a mess. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So what you do here, uh, so I put my phone aside. You go to, click Homebridge to go to the main page. And then you see this barcode uh, right here. This barcode is essentially the barcode that you'd find on like a, a HomeKit device or something. And there's also the, the pin there. So you just go, you press the plus, add accessory, and then you just hover over it. Uh, it says uncertified accessory. This accessory is not certified for HomeKit. It may not work reliably or securely with this iOS device. We know that because we set it up ourselves. Um, as a hub and then this should connect you can do this I did this when I set this up a few days ago I set it up um, uh, like out of order essentially where I scanned the code first added the bridge and then I added my TP link uh, so it's not showing up I think I just need to close home and re-enter it no Hmm. Let's see. Oh, you know what it is. Well, first off, I, I need to fix this. This update. Why won't it update? Maybe it's because my computer's on battery? Oh, okay, cool. Awesome. It is installing now. And then after this, you will have to restart. And restarting is also how uh, you get your accessories to work with the home bridge. <laughs> I don't want this to take too much longer because my computer's gonna die. Oh cool, perfect timing. I think if I close out of home and go back into the home app, maybe not. Where was it? Let me check. Plugins? No. Did I do something wrong? Um, default room home bridge not responding. So it is connected, but it's just not responding. Details, nothing. Great. Let me try and 
Uh, let me see if I can like somehow delete delete that device. Hubs. Yeah, okay. Remove. I'll just remove it and redo it. Done. Reload that. Add accessory. Scroll up. Do that. Add anyway. Same thing we already did. Of course, this doesn't want to work when I want to make a video about it. Okay, cool. And now you can see it's showing the dresser. So that's what this was. This if you go to the cat's app, it's called Dresser. So I'm sorry, I'm doing that with the mic. Um, it's called Dresser. I'm gonna name it because it's not Dresser. It's a salt lamp. Uh, it's all oh, this lamp is not going to be here like next video I make like this this is uh, on my desk in my bedroom uh, room I'll set the room to bedroom because that is where it is uh, type outlet next um, so just a scenes um, yeah that's a scene that I have that I wanted to work with and as, as you can see when I press it goes on and off. I think that's really cool that you can get unsupported home kit. I'm sorry I keep looking in that direction. That, that's where I am. Um, the, it's so cool that you can get unsupported devices to work with home kit. Uh, there's like many things like I think I don't know if Apple supports like oh ring doorbell. I don't think they support ring doorbell but you can view your ring doorbell from within. I wish they had like a featured for like plugins but like you can type in like Ring, Home Bridge Ring. That's like yeah, one of like the best, like most verified ones. I think Nest, though. I think Apple is like partnered with. Oh no, that might be Google. Yeah, Home Bridge Nest Cam and Nest, which I think is the Nest thermostat. Yeah, so it's a Google product, but with Home Bridge, you're able to connect it to your home, your uh, Apple Home app, or yeah, your home. Um, if you enjoyed, if this video was helpful at all, I did a little bit of ranting during this. I hope it's a lot shorter than it actually took to make. This video took like, oh, my phone stopped recording, um, because I turned it off. The um, this video took like 45 minutes because of all those delays. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.